I've been exploring AI for quite a few months now, and you have seen that with you know my content about Langchain or the free code camp course I did uh, for Langchain with OpenAI's APIs. And today I wanted to show you how you can run large language models locally, and that's where Olama comes in. They just recently released the Windows version. It was available on Mac and Linux, but now they have released a Windows version, which is in preview, by the way. So we'll be checking out Olama and how you can integrate that with Langchain to run your models locally, but also build those LLM-powered apps. So if you go to olama.com, you can see that it's available for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows now which is awesome. So if you click on download and click on download for Windows or any of the other operating systems which you might be on, it'll download the exe file. And now let's go through the installation steps here. So it looks like it wants me to close OBS. So I'll install Olama and then continue the recording. So the installation was successful. And now if I go to my terminal, type in Olama, and you can see that we have a few different options and available commands within Olama. So you have serve, create, show, run, pull, push, list, copy, remove, and help. And I'll go over the important ones that'll, that you'll need to get started with running a model locally on your machine. But before that, let me do a quick explanation on how Olama works. So the single binary file that we downloaded and installed on our machine comes with the server and the client. And the client in our case is the CLI. So later when I'll run Olama run Phi, so Phi or Phi is a model by Microsoft and you can look it up. I kind of posted about it on my Twitter. You know, I wanted to check this model out. So when you run this command, this basically does an API call to the server. So our CLI acts as a client and does an API request to the server. Or you could build your own app that utilizes this API. So you will be doing REST API calls to this Olama server. That's a little bit about how Olama works. And now if you go into models on olama.com, you can look at different models that are available for you to pull. So just like you do git pull to pull a repository, you'll do olama pull phi to run the phi or phi model locally. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll pull the manifest and then you'll see that it's 1.6 gigabytes, the model size, and I'll start downloading it. Okay, so now we have successfully pulled a model from Olama. So now you need to run that model. So if I do Olama run fee and it should start the model, right? And now we are basically making the API call to the Olama server that's running on our machine. So let's say, I don't know, why are skies blue? And there you go. It, generates a response saying the color of the sky is determined by scattering of sunlight in the Earth's atmosphere. And then you can kind of read through this. So now we have a large language model. Well, in Fee's case, it's called small language model because of the amount of the parameters that it has. I, think, I believe it's 1.2 or 1.7 uh, billion or 2.7 billion, which is pretty smaller compared to the other models that are listed here. So one of the other models that I do want to check out is the Mistral, Mistral AI. And then there are different configurations that you can look into. You can set different configurations and settings uh, for your locally running Olama. Okay, now moving on to the Langchain, right? So if, if you're wondering what Langchain is, it's an open source framework that allows you to build large language model powered apps, right? So I've had some RAG examples uh, on the Free Code Camp YouTube course, so you can check it out if you're interested in learning more about Langchain. So I typically use OpenAI's, you know, models. So today we'll be using model that is running locally. I do have a virtual environment set up already and I have installed, you know, Langchain as the required packet. And from the community LLMs, we'll import Olama. And now we can initiate an LLM by using the local model that we had, and that was Phi. And now we have to invoke this large language model by asking it some kind of question. So we'll save that in a response. 
and we invoke the LLM and we ask it, tell me a mathematics joke. And then we print the response. And now if we run this file, it should invoke the large language model, which is phi that is running locally. And we'll see the response printed out in the command line here. And there we go. <laughs> it gave us a pretty big joke, I guess. Sure, here is one for you. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine user, haha, that's actually pretty funny. Can you tell me more about the history of mathematics joke? Um, so I don't know how um, did it get this context, but it went ahead and kind of gave the history of mathematics. But you get the idea, right? You can use now Langchain with your locally running models. And I want to try out all the different models that are available uh, specifically, as I said, you know, the Mistral and the Code Llama. I'm definitely interested to see how Code Llama or any of the other like coding assistants uh, perform because, you know, I've been using Copilot and kind of like it, but there are other kind of competitors out there. It would be interesting to see and do like a comparison, you know, about the accuracy and how many times do I have to tinker with the prompt to get the right answer for any of the programming or coding challenge or solution that I'm trying to build. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.